Max Vermorgens back with me in the studio today from Sigma Rock. Max, good morning. Good morning. A 2018 trading update out from you recently. Despite some fairly challenging, some might say, market conditions, you're expecting to uh, to report a strong performance for the Excellent year. Excellent performance, I think, for the year. 52% revenue increase. Uh, we're obviously fairly off early in the year at the moment, uh, so all the other numbers will come out uh, mm. probably around March time, as we said earlier. Um, but in line with what we uh, what we announced, we would we would do, and that is a I think great testimony to the business because they're close to doubling uh, EBITDA, so it's, mm-hmm. it's it's a it's a it's a real strong performance. You had an update too around the uh, convertible loan notes, saying that they'll be refinanced. Give us a bit of detail about what's what's going on here. Yes, so um, we had our uh, two debt structures in place, one with Santander and the convertible loan notes, and Santander have worked hard with us and they've been extremely supportive to extend uh, the facilities we've got with them from 20 to 34 million pounds. And um, we'll use part of that facility to then refinance the convertible loan notes. And we had another big piece of work with our existing shareholders, who are also the holders, most of them, of that convertible loan note, to redeem the notes and then reinvest uh, part of that money as well back into the business. It's a statement of confidence in us, I think, because mm. it's, it's um, some of these shareholders give up a, a yield to then reinvest in, in, in the equity of the business. It's a, it's a real, real statement there. And the other point that is important for all the other holders is it's a convertible. It used to be a convertible, so it now won't convert anymore. Mm. So from a dilution perspective, that's another positive to the market in general. So both our holders and Santander have done a, done a, done a stunning, stunning job there. Indeed, you and I spoke towards the end of last year around the the acquisition of CCP. That's now closed. So another big development. Yeah, CCP is a brilliant business. So it, it allows us to finish off platform number two, which is called Precast Products Group (PPG), uh, with now three businesses in it. CCP being the third one, uh, gives us exposure to the northwest of the UK, Liverpool, Manchester, four production sites, and a management team that will stay with the business. Uh, exceptional guys, really motivated and driven. So it's it's uh, it's, it's a real good progress for us. It also puts um, the group as a whole into again another level because we go from 40-ish million turn- turnover for the AR18. Mm. We'll probably add another 20 of CCP on top of that this year. So we start to really get into into a bigger size. So two platforms at that point. I'm very happy, and then and then we'll move on to number three. In, well, you've certainly been busy on the acquisition front. Full fat quarry. Tell yeah. me a bit more about this one. So Folfac is a high PSV quarry where that's, it's a, it produces a type of, of stone which you use in the top layer of asphalt. Um, it's a requirement by a British standards because it has much higher skid resistance. And we came on, the, uh, we found this little quarry in, in the south of Wales. Um, and when we bought it, it had about, on, on the paperwork said about the 1.9 million tons of reserve. Mm. We worked a lot over the last uh, six months because we were convinced there was more than that. Um, and we've now, with with the help of geologists and, and, and a number of uh, drilling campaigns, demonstrated there's actually 4 million tonnes of reserve in there. Now, this aggregate type is, is high value. Only 8% or so of quarries in the UK actually produce this kind of stone. So it's the only type of aggregate that will travel farther and will therefore sell at a high, much higher price. So we're ex- extremely happy and excited to have that as a starting point in a new region for us. And it, it basically the starting point of number three for us, not platform three. And you've brought in, is it David McClelland? He'll be overseeing this. Yes, so uh, David uh, used to be with, uh, with Tarmac on its executive committee. It's, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a man with, with, with decades of experience. All the way from, from the quarry floor, made it all the way up to the executive committee of a, of a multi-billion business, the, the biggest in the country, a, a, a really a great business there. And, and he left Tarmac um, um, at the end of 17, roughly. Um, and we worked with him over the past uh, year a little bit and, and, and saw that he's, he's, he's got great skills. Now, from our perspective, it's a bit of a scoop to be able to, to hire people of that caliber in, mm. a, in, a, in a fairly tiny entity, which we still have done 60 million turnover-ish or so for the year, for, for next year. So we're really excited about this. So you're looking forward to, to the year ahead, to 2019. What, what's it, generally speaking, what's it going to be about for you? What's the theme? Um, so we've, we will have completed platform number two, which is uh, just now with CCP. There's a starting point of platform number three. Um, David will obviously, McLennan will take a, a, a lead there to help, that, to, help that, to help that evolve. I'm going to look at integrating the businesses that we've got, making sure that uh, the performance that I'm hoping to extract from the new ones and the existing ones is in line with the, the targets that we set. Um, so that will be continued growth, continued EPS growth, etc. And then when we feel ready for it, we'll go to platform number four and we keep our, we keep our story going. And I'm sure you'd like to see a little bit of uh, upward movement in the share price. Yes, but, but you know, what, what's actually good is uh, uh, our share price didn't suffer hugely in, in it's quite a difficult market in December and it has recovered quite mm. nicely um, over the past two, three weeks. 
So um, from from that perspective, actually, I think I think we're we're doing we're doing a good job. That's great, Max. Thanks very much. Thank you.